some of the most stable communities we have are where groups such as Hispanics, such as African Americans, such as whites, such as whoever wants to stay in that home remains in that home. This speaks to a larger issue of delinquencies and foreclosures, okay? No one likes foreclosures. It doesn't work well for anyone. It doesn't work well for the borrower, obviously, because if anyone saw USA Today's article, I believe it was on Friday, Felix, um, we've also got another crisis. Rents are high. So someone losing their home doesn't necessarily step into a situation where they can go into a lower cost situation. So rents are high, foreclosures are rising. Foreclosure doesn't work well for anyone. But now, proceeding from that, what we see is that the longer you stay in your home, the greater the rate of return you receive on that home on a risk-adjusted basis. What that really means is this, is that if you take the average investment in a home and track it out over time and match that off with another investment of comparable return, if you adjust for differences in risk, the house will always be a better investment. And you know what I always find amazing is that it's not just a financial return that matters. Everyone here, well I can't say everyone, but I will say the vast majority of people here have their home because they want that to be where their family grows in their community, in their family. I know that's how I did. My family got into an FHA home in 1968 for $19,000. We still live in that home. Okay, we still live in that home, and we're very proud of that because that's our home. So if you compound in that return on top of the financial return, there has never been a better investment return for the average American in the history of America. That's what I mean. Thanks, Levon. That's very, Thank very well put.